business has a really important job to do in terms of bringing slavery to an end. The, the productive capacity of slaves around the world doesn't all, doesn't all flow into products that we use, but a good bit of it does. And sadly, because it flows into those products, businesses are making money from it. Uh, they probably don't want to make money from it because they find it as evil as the rest of us, but they do and they're involved because it passes through in their product chain. And of course, consumers aren't special and different and separate from that product chain. They're just the last link in that product chain. So in fact, it's not just a problem for business that there's slavery in, in, in cotton and coffee and sugar and a lot of other things. It's a problem for everybody, the, the businesses and the consumers. But what we've discovered is that there's a way to make a team, a team that's made up of consumers, processors, retailers, wholesalers, the big businesses and so forth, where they all decide to work together to make to police that product chain. And if you, in fact, let the experts, who are the people who work in that business, police that product chain, they're going to know how, how to fix it. They're going to be able to see the ways where you can intervene and interdict the slavery before it enters into the commodities, commodities that we use. It, it's, you know, it's possible that, that businesses would say, well, you know, it's not my job to deal with this. And uh, on one level, they've got a point. Because, you know, if, if your office is in Minneapolis and your, and your cocoa is coming from Ghana, uh, it, it might be fair to say, who made me the police of Ghana? You know, I'm just a guy from Minneapolis. But the truth of the matter is, if you're buying and selling that cocoa, if you're, if you're making a profit from that cocoa, if you're involved in the, in the product chain that may start in Ghana but finishes in a supermarket in Minneapolis, you're involved. The good news is the guy in his office in Minneapolis doesn't have to solve the whole problem. It's a team. It's all about teamwork. The consumer works with the company. The company works with the government. The government works with the anti-slavery organizations. The anti-slavery organizations work with the, with the company as well. We all get together and we can solve this problem.